Hey, what's going on everybody? Protein Bar Review Guy here with another review. And up today we have this Barbells here. White chocolate almond, all right? I've never heard of this one. Hats off, thank you to my wife. She picked this one up, surprised me with this one last night. Um, so we're gonna check this out today. I've never heard of this. I've never seen any ads for it or marketing, so I really don't know much about this bar at all. So let's check it out. All right, we rate the bars on this channel based on ingredients, calorie count, protein content, macros, taste, texture, and then we give them an overall score of one through 10. So before we get started, remember to hit like, subscribe, and please share this with anyone you know who wants to learn more about the ingredients that are in your food. Not just protein bars, but food in general, because a lot of these big words on the labels that you don't know what they are, they're in everything, not just protein bars. So it's a good idea to learn what they do and how they interact with your body. Okay, so let's check this thing out. On the front, they are boasting 20 grams of protein, no sugar added, and then they're saying artificial and natural flavoring. Like, I don't know if they're, if they're trying to say that's like a good thing. Um, all right. <laughs> Usually they advertise no artificial flavoring and here they're, yeah. All right, whatever, let's see. Ingredients, here we go. It's a protein blend of calcium caseinate, whey protein isolate, Okay, so that's good. You've got the caseinate, which is a slower digesting protein uh, from dairy as well as whey is. And then you have the whey protein isolate, which is a very fast absorbing protein, good for post-workout. Um, and then we get into glycerol, and then we have maltitol. That's an artificial sweetener that we've slammed on in the past. Um, does bad things to your gut, sits there. The body has a hard time digesting it, so that's not good. Then we get into polydextrose. Um, that's a carb source they're using in here. Then we have collagen. All right, that's good. Um, they don't tell you where the collagen comes from. Hopefully it's from a good source. Uh, then we have cocoa butter, milk powder, water, almonds, uh, soy crisp. I guess that's some kind of crunchies in here. And those are made from soy protein isolate and cocoa. And then we get into tapioca starch, sunflower oil, more cocoa, and then we have the natural and artificial flavors, which they're not going to tell us what that is. Um, if they're artificial, you know, what, what are they from? If it's natural, what are they from? Um, I don't know how they're allowed to be so vague and get away with that. Uh, you know, just natural and artificial flavors. Uh, then you have salt, soy lecithin, unsweetened chocolate, sucralose, and acesulfame K. All right, again, at the end there, the soy lecithin, you know, that's an easy one to swap out. They could use the sunflower lecithin instead of the soy lecithin, that's an easy swap. But the last two ingredients there are what really stick out to me. We've already had maltitol as the fourth ingredient on this after the protein and the glycerol, we have maltitol, which is an artificial sweetener, which is not good for you. But then also at the end here, we have two more artificial sweeteners, sucralose, and acesulfame K. And what acesulfame K is, you've probably seen it on other labels as acesulfame potassium. And a lot of people might skim over that while they're reading ingredient lists and say, ah, blah, 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 potassium. It's probably good for me. No. Acesulfame potassium is another word for aspartame. Aspartame is that artificial sweetener that got a horrible name in the late 80s, early 90s with the whole Diet Coke thing um, and sweet and low, all that stuff. Uh, you know, on coffee shop tables and diners and stuff back in the 80s about uh, being directly linked to cancer and being a carcinogen and all that. So now they don't put aspartame on food product labels. Once in a while, you might find a product that just flat out admits it and says, yeah, aspartame. But more times you're gonna see it called acesulfame potassium, or in this case, acesulfame K. Now that is the same thing as aspartame. Um, and it is a known carcinogen. You should not be ingesting it. I'm gonna do it on this channel just for the sake of uh, reviewing bars, but in general, on all of your supplements, on all of your food, watch out for acesulfame potassium. It is not good for you. And not only is it a known carcinogen, but it's also directly linked to leaky gut syndrome, 
um, which we can get into that in a whole nother video. That's a whole nother can of worms, leaky gut syndrome. Um, but you don't want it. Um, so avoid things that cause leaky gut syndrome. Um, all right, so ingredients, um, I gotta slam it pretty, you know, for having three different kinds of artificial sweeteners. Uh, soy in there as well. Um, uh, I'm gonna give it a four. I'll give it a four on ingredients, and uh, that's being kind of nice because the the proteins were from uh, you know whey protein and calcium caseinate. Um, <clears throat> so four being nice there. In, uh, calorie count we've got 200. That's great. That's right what we like to see in that 180 to 220 window. That's great. We'll give it a 10 for that. Um, Protein content, it's got 20 grams. That's what we said. That's the benchmark for a 180 to 220 calorie bar. We're right in the middle at 200 calories and we're right at that bar of 20 grams uh, of protein there. So we'll give this, uh, you know, we'll give this an eight for that. You know, I think that's the, you know, the, the break even line there. So we'll give it an eight. Um, really, if it had, you know, 25 grams or something, I'd give it a nine or a 10. Um, but eight's not a bad score. All right, pro, uh, so let's look at the macros now here. Uh, with those 20 grams of protein, you've got 20 grams of carbs and eight grams of fat. All right, so that's an even one-to-one -one ratio of carbs to protein. So at four calories per gram for carbs and protein, they're both four calories per gram. So you've got 80 calories from protein, 80 calories from carbs in this bar, and then the eight grams of fat, fat's nine calories per gram, so that's 72. Um, so 80, 160, I'm not really sure how they're calling this 200 calories. Um, I might have to call BS on that because that math's not adding up. Yeah, 20, 20, so 80, 80, 160 plus 72. That, no, this thing's, if that's right, what they're saying in those grams of macros that are in there, this is 230 calories. Um, so we're gonna go back and we're gonna take points off for that protein content of an eight, and we're gonna give that, uh, we're gonna get, knock it down to a seven, um, because this math is not adding up. Um, I'm not sure how they're getting away with this, but that's not, uh, that's not accurate. Nine calories a gram for fat, four calories a gram for carbs, four calories per gram of protein. This doesn't add up. Um, but all in all, not bad. One to one carb to protein ratio, eight grams of fat, not bad for a protein bar. Um, so those macros, I'll give it an eight. Let's see how this thing tastes. And we, again, we have the white chocolate almond here. Very intrigued by this thing. All right, so check this thing out. Look at that, oh, totally covered in frosting it appears with chunks of almond bits on the outside. Look at that, that's pretty interesting. All right. Mm. That's really good. Um, yeah, white chocolate, they hit the nail on the head there. Um, that tastes like white chocolate. It's not like some protein bars where they try to make it taste like something and all it ends up tasting like is some weird artificial sweetener, sweet taste thing. Um, yeah, this tastes like white chocolate. This is pretty good. And you've got a bit of an almond flavor to it. Not a really strong, heavy, not a super overly strong almond flavor, but it's there. Um, pretty good. I like I like the flavor. I think it's a great white chocolate flavor. I'm going to give it a nine for taste. Um, texture, pretty good. I kept this one in the fridge because I like mine to be a little more on the firm side. Um, so it is, it's pretty good. Whatever's there in the middle there, that consistency, uh, when it is a little cooler like this from the fridge, this one, you know, something you can sink your teeth into. It's not overly soft and airy or whatever, you know, it's, it's got some chew to it. It's got a bit of crunch to it from the almond chunks on the outside. And uh, you've got a real good creamy texture from the white chocolate frosting on the outside. So 
I'm gonna give it a nine on texture there as well. All right, so let's uh, let's figure out an overall score for this this guy here. Um, ingredients: We did not like all of the artificial sweeteners in here. That's for sure. Um, calorie count: uh, It says 200. I'm calling BS on that. I'm going 230 by or 232 based on the math of what they list on the panel, on the ingredient list there, uh, or nutrition facts thing on the side. Um, so protein content, that didn't, uh, that didn't jive as well for, uh, you know, 20 grams of protein and 232 calories. So we gave a seven there. Taste texture, nine and nine. Um, the best thing about this bar is the taste and the texture. So I'm gonna give it, uh, I'm gonna give it a seven. Seven out of 10 there, uh, pretty much just because the taste and texture are saving it. All right, so there we go. White Chocolate Almond by Barbells. I'm not sure where she got this, but uh, it tastes great. Um, so there it is. All right, Protein Bar Review Guy, remember to like, subscribe, and share with everyone you know. All right, I'll catch you later.